Hello and welcome to the second part of our introduction to business statistics. Aside from knowing the types of variables in a study, data collection also requires the classification measurement levels. The scale or level of measurement determines the amount of information contained in the data and indicates the most appropriate data summarization and statistical analysis. The four known scales are ratio, interval, ordinal, and nominal. The values for variables can themselves be classified by the level of measurement or measurement scale. Statisticians use the terms nominal scale and ordinal scale to describe the values for a categorical variable and use the terms interval scale or ratio scale to describe numerical values. First on the list, a nominal scale classifies data into distinct categories in which no ranking is implied. It is said to be the weakest form of measurement because you cannot specify any ranking across the various categories. Also, arithmetic operations are not possible. And here are some of the examples of nominal scale variables. Shoe brand, types of investments, internet browser, and academic subjects. To facilitate data collection and to prepare the data for entry into a computer database, a numeric code as well as non-numeric labels may be used. The scale of measurement for a variable is called an ordinal scale if the data exhibit the properties of nominal data and the order or rank of the data is meaningful, though arithmetic operation is still not possible. Examples are product rating, socioeconomic class, and pain level. Ordinal scaling is a stronger form of measurement than nominal scaling because data values can be ranked. However, ordinal scaling is still a relatively weak form of measurement because the scale does not account for the amount of the differences between the categories. The ordering implies only which category is greater, better, or more preferred, and not by how much. As mentioned, values for a numerical variable are measured on a interval scale or a ratio scale. An interval scale is an ordered scale in which the difference between measurements is a meaningful quantity but does not involve a true zero point. Examples are temperature and standardized exam scores. If the temperature is zero degrees Celsius, it does not imply the absence of temperature, right? So the value zero was just arbitrarily chosen. Data measured on an interval scale or on a ratio scale constitute the highest levels of measurement. They are stronger forms of measurement than an ordinal scale because you can determine not only which observed value is the largest, but also by how much. A ratio scale is an ordered scale in which the difference between the measurements involves a true zero point, as in height, weight, age, or salary measurements. Other examples are travel time and calorie intake. Temperature is a trickier case. Fahrenheit and Celsius scales are interval but not ratio scales. While Kelvin temperature reading, in which 0 degrees means no molecular motion, is ratio scaled. Here's the summary of what we have learned so far. Notice that both diagrams show how ratio scale can do all analysis possible on the other three scales, thus making ratio scale variables more reliable in terms of deeper analysis of data. Now let us try applying those concepts by determining the measurement scale for each variable. You can pause the video if you like. Number 1. Phone number is just nominal like an email address. Though represented by numerical figures, it can't be ranked nor can you perform arithmetic operations. Time spent playing mobile games is ratio because time is always ratio. Risk level is ordinal because it is represented by low, elevated, high, or severe. Room temperature in degrees Celsius is always interval. And student scores on the first statistics test is also ratio. 
And that's all for this video. For the next part, we'll talk about data collection and sampling techniques. Once again, subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for your updates. Thank you for listening!